Today on the channel we're going to be unboxing Ahsoka Tano Padawan. This is from the Clone Wars, uh, Star Wars The Black Series figures. Uh, this is a Hasbro figure, of course. Um, yeah, uh, I've had this one on for a while. I got it right when it was, uh, you know, I had it pre-ordered. I thought, sweet, this is awesome. Uh, and then I saw her on the Ahsoka show as well. Um, you know, there was a young Padawan Ahsoka in the Ahsoka show, and that was pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, I just, I never had a, uh, a younger Ahsoka, so it's pretty cool to get this one. Um, it kind of stinks that it's still the pl plastic-free packaging. I mean, this is one of the last figures, I believe, that came out in plastic-free. So I probably won't keep the box. I don't keep these plastic frees, really. I, I'm so glad we're back to the uh, windowed boxes, but yeah, I am glad to get the figure, though. So super happy to get this one unboxed today. Let's go ahead and flip it around to the back. We just saw the front. There's the back of the box right there. The first side on this plastic free just kind of shows you everything that it comes with. She's got her two green lightsabers. And there is the Galaxy artwork. I will say, being plastic free, the Galaxy artwork was still cool. But I don't really collect the Galaxy artwork to display it or anything. I don't have anywhere to display all those boxes. So probably just going to let this one go in the trash. There's that artwork. At least I have a video of it if I'd ever like to see it again. There's just a black nothing and barcode legalese. Let's set it here, pull the camera back, get a little closer look at the art, look at the artwork and then we will get it unboxed. There's the Black Series logo. There's Ahsoka, a digital, digital render of the figure. There's the bottom of the box, flipping it around, Black Series again, and there's a blurb of Ahsoka if you would like to read it. And there's that digital render once again, bottom barcode legalese. All right, let's throw it here. Gonna tilt down, grab that exacto knife, cut that tape. Before I do that, if you're enjoying this video, if you don't mind giving it a like, I would greatly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, all kind of un unboxings of action figures every week, four to five, sometimes more. Um, yeah, you get all kinds of action figure unboxings in your feed and more stuff. Um, and if you could leave a comment, that'd be amazing too. If you got something fun to say, I would greatly appreciate that. With that being said, let's get Ahsoka out of her plastic free prison. Wait. All right, she is little. There is a lot of nothingness in this box. <laughs> that is one empty box. All right. <laughs> Those are lightsabers. Come on now, there's one. Where's the little one? Where's the little guy? Where's that little lightsaber? Doesn't want to come out. There we go. Got it. And Ahsoka. Oh, looking like the mummy. This is Ahsoka ready to go in her tomb. All right, let's cut these pieces of tape on here. I forgot that they had tape on these. There we go, no blood, excellent. Whop, get this plastic free crap out of here. Okay. I only have a few more figures left with this plastic free stuff. Uh, this paper drives me nuts. All right, with that said, wow, this is cool. This is really cool. She looks a lot like the animated, uh, uh, Clone Wars. Wow, this is really neat. This is way cooler than I thought it was going to be. I didn't watch any reviews or anything on this figure. I thought, I'm just going to do it. Check it out. Wow, I like it. We've got your two lightsabers here. There's a little one. Very nice. The bigger one. I got these little nubs so you can stick them right here without the blade in it. That's pretty sweet. All right. This, the detail on this and the it just looks really good. This is a really neat figure. Really glad I picked this one up. Really glad. All right, let's get that focus lock going. Then I don't have to put my hand back there anymore. All right, so let's look at some more pictures. Oh yeah, she's got her little braids there as well. Yeah, fantastic. Not a lot of head up with that uh, piece coming down from her head. Um, head down is not a ton either. You got a little side to side action. You're gonna be able to spin it. Whoop, how about on the camera? <laughs> You're gonna be able to spin it. There is a there is a uh, ball joint down there, and then one in the top of the neck. I forget what these are called. Like 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 two like two. I can't remember, but they are really in the way. But that's okay. You're gonna be able to still get some side to side, a little bit of down action. It works. She does have butterflies, which is super great. Any Jedi, any Padawan, any Sith, they need to have ball, uh, butterflies bad. 
I love it. I'm glad that uh, Black Series is incorporating a lot of um, butterflies in these. And in Troopers, for sure. Um, inside that butterfly is a ball joint. Um, I'm sorry, a peg on a rocker. Going into there, so you can kind of move it around where you need to. Rock it out where you need to. There is no bicep cut really anymore on these Black Series. It is just an elbow joint that is 90 degrees. It is just a peg on a rocker as well. And for the hand, you got up and down. I'm sure the other side is the same. Up and down. And then you've got, okay, no, nothing up in here. It is just right down in here. And that looks good because you don't have any weird cuts or anything. It's, it's hidden by the belt. Really nice. So it is just a ball joint, a little hula hoop action. Yeah, that works. It looks really good. All right, under the skirt, you've got ball joints coming in. It is the new, where they hollow it out instead of doing a thigh cut. So it gives you just a little bit of movement here and there. I'm pretty sure it's way cheaper for Hasbro to do this, to just do less plastic and not have to do a whole nother peg cut. So it is what it is. I don't know if I like it or don't like it. It is what it is. We'll just call it that. <laughs> All right, kick out is there. Kick forward is there. Kick back to there. Not bad. And then, whoops, I don't want to keep that. I need to stay down and look cool like that. All right, there is your little bit past 90 degrees for your knee. It is just a peg on a rocker as well. The peg goes up into the top of the leg. Whoop, get that foot out of the way. And then the rocker is below for the knee. And you move it here. There is no more. Well, wow, she actually has a boot cut. Wow, you usually don't see boot cuts anymore on Black Series, but she has a boot cut. Oh, that makes me happy. I hope they incorporate more boot cuts back into the Black Series because they kind of leave it for you usually to move on this peg and it really makes the knee look really dumb. Glad to see a boot cut. So that's cool. I like that a lot. And then your standard front facing pen on the rocker for the foot. Very good. This is a neat little figure, I will say. Worth the price of admission, for sure, without a doubt. All right, let's bring the camera forward. Let's get a little tilt down. Let's throw a Soka about right here. Throw a little lightsabers here. There's everything you get in the box of this figure. Let's wipe those uh, lightsabers away. Throw some other figures for scale. So I have the Ahsoka series figure here for comparison. See if we can get a little higher up on the camera here. Something like that should do the trick. And then I just have a Stormtrooper. Throw it over here. There's your scale. All right. There is your Ahsoka Tano Padawan. Stay tuned for some posing. Thanks so much for watching.